Hello, this is Don with Donamo Services located in Northern Virginia. Um, there are many other services that you can provide other than lawn care. You can provide lawn care, landscaping, gutter cleaning and repair, power and pressure washing, deck and fence repair and stain, outdoor painting. You should also try to have a catchy slogan, something that catches your eye. So this is my trailer. It's nothing big or spectacular. It's a five by 10 trailer. This is all I need to carry my equipment. I have a Skag V-Ride 2012, 52 inch cut, 26 horsepower Kawasaki engine. Now, if you're just starting out into this business or if you're looking into equipment, I highly recommend this mower due to the fact that first, the motor is in the middle. So all that weight is not in the back because you need to think about if you're sitting in the back, if the motor's in the back, that's a lot of weight on your back tires. And what tends to happen is if you go and cut somebody's grass every week and you go in the same path every time you come you seem to leave tracks but the number one thing that I like about this mower is that when I do fall cleanups or if I have large properties to blow all I do is put my backpack blower on and mow and blow at the same time I save a lot of time with this mower and it's very um, convenient due to the size. It's the same thing as a zero turn, it's just it doesn't have a seat. Now I also have a walk behind an X Mark 36. So if you're just starting out, I would recommend a Skag or an Xmark. Okay, those are the two top commercial mowers. There, nothing is compared to a Skag or an Xmark. If you look at any decent sized lawn company, they are most likely going to have either a Skag or an Xmark. I have a, um, this is my power washer that I use. Um, I have a BR600 blower. I also have a Husqvarna blower 150. I have multiple hoses um, to do um, pretty much any size power washing job. Now this is my Skag backpack blower, BR600. I also recommend to get the steel, um, I forgot what they call it, it's a, some, it starts with a K, but you, it has multiple attachments, um, all you need to do is buy the motor, and you can get multiple attachments, you can get the bush trimmer, the weed eater, or the edger, um, I wouldn't recommend just buying that and buying all the attachments, I would recommend buying that, you know, for your edger and your bush trimmer because you're not using your edger or bush trimmer on every job. I have an Echo, which I do not recommend Echo, but that's my preference. I have a Shandawa. Um, a Shandawa is pretty good because it's lightweight. It is very powerful. Um, but uh, both of these pieces of equipment I bought used at a pawn shop. I paid only $60 per piece of equipment uh, for both of those uh, weed eaters. Uh, and um, I mean, I go to pawn shops a lot to try to buy equipment because... I, you know, am using this stuff every day. I abuse it every day. I don't need to go out and buy everything brand new. I try to save as much money as possible. This right here is my um, 
power washing pole attachment. It goes up 18 feet, so I can pretty much do any size two-story house on the ground. This right here is the surface cleaner that I use for concrete. This is a very good machine. You know, if you're doing concrete, and if you're thinking about getting into power washing, and if you start doing concrete, it's a lot better than just using a gun. It's a lot more efficient. This is my other power washer. All my equipment I have purchased either either used or a pawn shop. For this power washer, I only paid $200 at the pawn shop, but that pump that is on that power washer cost $350. That is not a stock pump. A lot of these people that work at pawn shops, they don't know what they have. So you can get very good deals at times, okay? Because these people that work at pawn shops, they don't know anything about equipment. So you can talk to them and, you know, you can get deals. Um, and I mean, that's what I would recommend. You know, if you're first starting out, go to a pawn shop, you know, go on Craigslist. Um, first, what you want to do is you want to look up and see how much equipment costs. That way, you know before you go how much everything is worth. Now, that surface cleaner, I got a really good deal on. I only paid $70 for that. And that surface cleaner is about $400 new. I have every size ladder needed to do a power washing or gutter cleaning job. I have the 40 foot ladder, 36 foot ladder, 24 foot ladder, and the 28 foot ladder. When I first started doing power washing, I would receive calls where people would want me to transport my own water. So I went on Craigslist and I found a water tank. I only paid $40 for the water tank and I used it. You know, I made my money back for that water tank on the first job. This is my van. It's a 2005. Um, I mean, it's nothing spectacular. I pretty much only use the van for power washing and gutter cleaning. And I try to use the truck for when I do lawn care. Reason being is that my van is only a V6 and my truck is a V8. So that's why I have a small trailer because I don't want to tear up any transmission I mean you need to look into things before you buy it and you need to think about stuff before you purchase equipment like the trailer if if you have tolls um, I have a toll and it goes by the number of axles you have on your trailer so if I would have bought a two axle trailer then I would have to pay an additional six six dollars to cross the bridge so until next time thank you for watching i'm going to post videos as soon as i get to work it, i'm we're in dead winter right now february 2nd as soon as i get power washing and cleaning power washing and gutter cleaning jobs i'm going to post how to do those jobs and how to bid those jobs. You can make a lot more money than just mowing grass. Just mowing grass is the tip of the iceberg. Thank you for watching Donimo Services.